Hey there, curious minds. Welcome back to the deep dive. Today, we're uh, tackling a common puzzle for photographers. It's about choosing the right software for managing and editing your photos. Specifically, we've looked through the material on two really popular free open source options, Digicam and Darktable. Our mission, really, is to help you figure out which one or, you know, maybe even using both together might fit what you need. We're pulling this straight from the sources we reviewed. Right. And this choice, it's more than just technical. It really shapes how you work your creative process. The material we looked at really emphasizes this balance you need to strike. You've got, on one hand, the need for solid organization, especially as your photo library grows. And on the other, you want powerful, precise editing tools. Getting that balance right, like the sources suggest, well, it's pretty crucial. Okay, so let's dive in. The sources first point us towards Digicam. It's often described as a uh, powerful digital asset management tool. What jumps out right away is its strength in organizing, particularly large photo libraries. We're talking features for easy tagging, rating photos, sorting them. Sounds like a lifesaver if you're drowning in images. Right. Plus, it handles a wide range of formats, RAW, JPEG, you name it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's mainly about management, but it's not just that. Dimicam does have some built-in editing features, things like cropping, basic color adjustments, filters. Yeah. And it supports plugins, too. Yeah, and it's interesting how the sources position the Digicam. It seems aimed at both beginners and, well, more experienced folks, provided their main thing is managing their collection effectively. A real library wizard, as you put it. Yeah. But is there a catch, especially for people with truly enormous archives? Does the material mention any downsides? Good question. It does. The sources do caution the Digicam can be slow with huge libraries. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something to weigh if your collection is you know, absolutely massive. Right, a practical consideration. Yeah, exactly. So if Digicam is the master organizer, then our look at Darktable shows us something different. It's pitched as a raw processing powerhouse. Mm -hmm. Its big selling point, based on the sources, is its non-destructive editing, meaning uh, any changes you make don't permanently alter your original file. They're like layers on top. Yeah. And it's got a whole suite of advanced tools, exposure control, white balance, lens correction, noise reduction, the serious stuff for perfecting an image. Mm -hmm. The real nitty gritty editing. Yeah. And interestingly, its workflow uses modules, kind of like building blocks for your edits. The sources say this actually mimics Adobe Lightroom. Mm. So that might feel familiar to some users. And that really highlights the key difference, doesn't it? Darktable's editing is clearly top-notch, pro-level stuff. Yeah. But the material is also pretty clear that its library management is less polished when you compare it to Digicam. It's built for that deep focus on editing individual shots, especially RAWs. Maybe less so for managing everything across a huge library. So it's not bad at organizing, just... It's just not its primary focus. Editing takes center stage. Exactly. Okay, so let's put them head to head. What's the takeaway from the material? It really seems like they have distinct sweet spots. Digicam is described as the go-to if you need top-notch organization for thousands of photos. It's seen as intuitive, versatile for that task. Darktable, meanwhile, excels in editing, offering pro-level tools. But, like we said, the organization side lags behind. And that's really the core insight from this deep dive, isn't it? It's not about which one is universally better. The sources really drive home that it's about matching the tool to your main priority. If you're managing a massive photo collection, the material points strongly to Digicam. If your main goal is perfecting your raw images with advanced controls, then Darktable is probably your beast. Understanding that helps you apply it to your specific needs. Right. And maybe the most powerful idea we found, sort of a pro tip from the sources, you don't necessarily have to choose just one. You can actually use both. Hmm. The material suggests this hybrid strategy. Use Digicam for its fantastic organization. Mm -hmm. Keep everything tidy. And then when you need that high-end editing, especially for RAWs, switch over to Darktable. That gives you the best of both worlds, really. A powerful, free, open source workflow. Yeah, exactly. It boils down to what you need most. Yeah. Is it managing the whole archive, or is it that intensive raw editing? Absolutely. So it's worth thinking about your own workflow. Where are the friction points? How could one of these tools or maybe that combined approach okay. fit in and potentially smooth things out? That's the perfect place to leave it. So here's something to mull over. What parts of your current photo process feel the most challenging? And how might a specialized tool like Digicamp or Darktable or even using them together fundamentally change that for you? Food for thought until our next deep dive.